Engineering students at the University of Utah showed off some of their best ideas this afternoon. One is something that could help us all breathe better. New specialist Alex Cabreros live in Salt Lake City tonight with what it does. Alex? You know, Dave, we don't hear too much about air quality during the springtime simply because, well, we could see our buildings and mountains in the spring, unlike many days in the wintertime. But there are some people working on things to help all of us figure out what we're breathing at all times. Most of us know what this looks like. Even worse, we often know what it tastes like. And a lot of people in Utah don't hear about purple air days. They hear about red air days. And purple's worse. Taylor Wilson, a student at the University of Utah, isn't a big fan of poor air quality. None of us are. But instead of just complaining about it... We collect data all across the nation from the EPA. He wanted to do something about it. So as part of a team working on a project, he helped come up with a personal air quality sensor and a website to monitor data. How many green air days did I, did I have over the last 45 days? And not just in a general city-wide way, but down to individual homes, businesses, and schools. If you've got a child who's an asthmatic, these types of sensors could really help you figure out what's happening in your home. Carrie Kelly, an assistant professor with the University of Utah's chemical engineering department, says having that personal data can help you make changes. Are you noticing that, somebody, that a, an onset of attack is happening right after something and maybe you can correlate with that with some air quality inside your home or near your home? It happened to Wilson. When he took one of the first sensors home to test it, he kept getting high particulate matter readings after doing laundry. The first night we had it, it was well within purple. The second night was well within purple. He soon found out his dryer wasn't venting properly. They opened the window, the levels dropped, so we figured out what the problem was. So it can help people take ownership for their own indoor air quality. They can also look for interesting trends. The trick, of course, is making them affordable for everybody. Kelly says that model that they're using there costs about $180, but with more design and a little more engineering, they might be able to get it to around $50. But she also says there are groups working on certain sensors that only cost a few bucks. Dave, air quality is something maybe we can all agree needs a little work. Hey, a lot of great ideas up there being Absolutely. kicked around. Alex in Salt Lake. Thanks, Alex.